Hey everybody, just wanted to pop on and give a quick little review on something that I've been using for the last couple of months. It is the Pulp Riot leave-in conditioner called Copenhagen. I used it, or I started using it, once I got my red done. You can tell I have not blow dried my hair, I haven't styled my hair. I wanted to kind of come on here so you can see what happens when I just do this leave-in conditioner and uh, argan oil that I have from somewhere, I picked it up somewhere. Um, so those are the only two things that are in my hair. I have noticed my hair look a little bit shinier. I've noticed um, not as many split ends. I've noticed that my hair is a little bit easier to style once I have let it dry with this in it. I really don't blow dry my hair anymore. Maybe once every couple of months, I'll actually go in and actually blow dry it. But for the most part, I just let it air dry. So if you were thinking about getting the leave-in conditioner from Pulp Riot called Copenhagen, I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, I've been using it for a couple of months and I wanted to make sure that I was using it for an extended amount of time before I actually reviewed it. Some people like to know what it smells like, so on that front, it smells exactly like the Pulp Riot Direct Dye colors. It's like all their Vivids and all their pastels, it smells exactly like their colors, which I like the smell of it, so if you like the smell of Pulp Riot products, you'll like this smell. I'm trying to think if there's any any downside to it. I haven't really had any, so I'll just take you through my little like process with it. I towel dry, and then I will spray this pretty much all over. I wouldn't really spray it on the roots because I don't need help there. It's mostly my mids to ends that feel a little rough sometimes. That's where this comes in, and I spray a lot. You could probably get away with spraying less than I do, but that's a personal preference kind of thing, so it's totally up to you. You can get this from your hairstylist or you can get it at Salon Centric, but to get it at Salon Centric, you need to have your license, your cosmetology or barbering license. So your best bet is getting it from your hairstylist. I would not recommend trying to get it from Amazon because anybody can get this out of my trash when I'm done with it and put anything in here and sell it on Amazon. So. Not saying that that's gonna happen to you if you get it on Amazon, but there's a bigger chance of you getting something that's been tampered with or something that's not actually the product unless you go and get it from your hairstylist or from somebody that has a license at Salon Centric. Play it safe with your hair care. Make sure you either get it from your hairstylist or you get it from the actual source and that way you're not getting anything except the actual product. That's my little PSA. You can take it or leave it. But yeah, I just wanted to do my little quick review on this. I'm happy with it. I will probably get it again. It is a four fluid ounce bottle. Kind of small, but it lasted me over two months. So that's a good sign. Um, go ahead and leave any questions that you have about Pulp Riot or their products or anything else in the comment section and I will do my best to answer it. And I look forward to hearing from you. Until the next video, have a good one.